deer are an Eurasian deer species with a bit of a muddled history. Originally, they were native to the Mediterranean, but they have become naturalized, or they have adapted to live in, most parts of Europe as well as many parts of Asia. They were introduced to Britain in the 11th century by the Normans, and their numbers increased from that time due to deer parks or fenced areas of land where medieval deer were kept for hunting. Captive deer would escape deer parks and form wild groups. Eventually, even as deer parks fell to the wayside, established herds of fallow deer would make it so that the species continued to prosper. Now they can be seen wildly in England, Ireland, Iraq, Iran, and more. They are also captively kept on every inhabited continent. Sorry, Antarctica. They tend to favor wooded areas with underbrush and large grassy meadows interspersed. They're considered a mid-sized deer and could be seen as just slightly larger than the domestic goat. Males are slightly larger than females, averaging around 150 pounds in weight, with females at about 90 pounds. Male shoulder height is about 3 feet and female shoulder height is around 2.5 feet. Although it's possible for a female fallow deer to grow antlers, it's highly irregular and usually caused by a genetic abnormality. Males typically start growing antlers within their first year as small spikes, but as they mature, the antlers begin to branch more. Fallow deer come in four main color variations. There's the most common, where the deer are rust-colored, with white spots on their back, a white to beige belly, and a black line running down their tail. The next is referred to as the Manil variant, and showcases fur that's tan in color with white spots that are visible year-round. They also come in a dark brown color that appears almost black, this variant being called melanistic. Typically, they'll live around 15 years, but there are records of some living well into their 20s. Although both males and females reach sexual maturity within their first two years of life, and females typically give birth to their first bond during this time, males are usually not successful in scoring a mate until they're between three and four years of age. The reason for this is that males compete for females' affections, and typically the younger males just aren't strong or experienced enough to take on the larger, older males. During the mating season, which occurs roughly between September and November, with October being the peak of the season, fallow deer can be found together in large herds of mixed sexes. However, after this time, the large groups tend to disperse, with males forming bachelor groups of around five individuals and females sticking with groups of other females and fawns. The pregnancy of a fallow deer lasts a little over 30 weeks, and they tend to give birth around June or July. Fawns usually weigh about 10 pounds when they're born. Of course, fallow deer get much bigger than our fun-loving house cat. By eating grasses, leaves, tree bark, and berries, fallow deer will continue to grow until they reach their adult size. While growing up and throughout their lifetime, fallow deer have to be on the lookout for wolves, bears, and large cats. There are actually two subspecies of fallow deer in the world. There is the European fallow deer and the Persian or the Mesopotamian fallow deer. The Persian fallow deer is considered by some to be the rarest and least known mammal of its size. It's endangered in its natural environment, although reintroduction efforts have been made for them.